Let's talk about trading psychology. What is trading psychology? Trading psychology refers to the emotions and mental state that help uh, dictate a success or failure in trading securities. Trading psychology represents various aspects of an individual's character and behaviors that influence uh, their trading actions. Trading psychology can be as important as other attributes uh, such as knowledge, experience and skill in determining trading success. Uh, discipline and risk-taking are two of the most critical aspects of trading psychology, since a trader's implementation of these aspects is critical to the success of his or her trading plan. Fear and greed are commonly associated with trading psychology, while things like hope and regret also pay, play roles in trading behavior. Understanding Trading Psychology Trading psychology can be associated with a few specific emotions and behaviors uh, that are often uh, catalysts for market trading. Uh, conventional uh, characterizations of uh, emotionally driven behavior uh, in markets uh, ascribe most emotional trading to either greed or fear. Greed can be thought of as an uh, ex excessive uh, desire for wealth, so uh, excessive uh, that it clouds uh, rationality and uh, judgment at times. Uh, this uh, this uh, characterization of the greed inspired investor or irrational uh, trading assumes that the greed emotion uh, can lead trades, traders uh, towards a variety of uh, suboptimal behaviors. This may include making high-risk trades, buying shares of an uh, untested company or technology just because it is going up in price rapidly, or buying shares without uh, researching the underlying investment. Additionally, greed may inspire investors to stay in profitable trades longer than is advisable in an effort to squeeze out extra profits or to take on large uh, speculative positions. Greed is most uh, apparent uh, in the final phase of uh, bull markets, when speculation runs uh, rampant uh, and investors throw uh, caution to the wind. Uh, conversely, uh, fear causes traders to close out position uh, prematurely or to refrain from taking on risk because of concern about large losses. Uh, fear is uh, palpable uh, during bear markets and it is a potent emotion that can cause traders and investors to act irrationality in their haste uh, to exit the market. Uh, fear often uh, morphs uh, into panic, which generally causes significant sell-offs in the market from panic selling. Regret may cause a trader to get into a trade after initially missing out on it because the stock moved too fast. This is a violation of trading discipline and often results in direct losses from security prices that are falling from big highs. 
Technical analysis. Tra trading psychology is often important for technical analysis. Uh, relying on uh, charting te technique-wise to drive their trade um, des decisions. Security charting can provide a broad array of insights on a securities movement, while technical analysis and charting technique-wise uh, techniques uh, can be helpful in spotting trends for buying and selling opportunities. It requires an understanding and uh, intuition for market movements that are uh, derived from an investor's trading psychology. There are uh, numerous instances in technical charting where a trader must rally not only on uh, the charts inside but also their own knowledge of the security that they are following and their uh, in institution for how for broader factors are affecting the market. Traders with uh, keen attention to comprehensive security, price influences, uh, discipline and uh, confidence show a balanced trading. Psychology that typically contributes to access. Uh, behavioral finance. Uh, no. Behavioral finance. Part of trading psychology is to understand why individuals make irrational decisions in the market or other money matters. Uh, behavioral finance uh, is a subfield of behavioral economics that uh, proposes uh, psychological influences uh, and uh, biases uh, that affect the financial behaviors of investors and financial uh, practitioners. Moreover, influences uh, and biases uh, can be the source of explanation of all types of market anomalies, specifically those in the stock market like uh, seller uh, rises or falls in stock price. Uh, behavioral finance typically uh, encompasses the concept of mental accounting. Mental accounting refers to the uh, propensity for people to uh, allocate money for specific purposes. Hard behavior. Hard behavior states uh, that people tend to mimic the financial behaviors of the majority of the herd. Uh, herding is uh, notorious in the stock market as the cause behind the dramatic uh, relies and sell-offs. Emotional gap. The emotional gap refers to decision-making based on extreme emotions or emotional uh, strains such as uh, anxiety, anger, uh, fear or excitement. Emotions are often a key reason why people make irrational, irrational choices. Uh, enjoying. Enjoying refers to attaching a spending level to a certain reference. Examples may include spending consistently based on a budget level or uh, rationalizing uh, spending based on different uh, satisfa satisfaction. Uh, utility lies. Uh, utility li utilities. Uh, Self-attribution. Self-attribution refers to a tendency to make choices based on overconfidence in one's own knowledge or skill. Uh, Self-attribution uh, usually stems for, from an uh, intrinsic uh, 
neck uh, in a particular area. Within this category, uh, individuals tend to rank their knowledge uh, higher than others, even uh, when it objectively falls short. We will end on it. Goodbye.